Hi students, welcome back to our biology classes. Yes students, today we are going to learn next topic in the fiber to fabric chapter. Okay, in the last class we have understood, okay, how we are going to grow the cotton, how we are going to grow the jute. Okay, so even we have understood that, yes, these plant fibers are used to prepare the yarn, right? So to prepare a yarn in cotton we have seen before, it is converted into yarn, we will be seeing that there is a process called ginning where the cotton fibers will be separated from the seeds, right? So, even we have seen that in jutes, we are going to rotten the stems of the jute. After few days, we will collect the jute fibers. Okay, once we prepare yarn, right? So, we are going to use it for further uh, fabric, right? So, actually, how we are going to prepare a yarn? Right. So, preparation of yarn is also important, right? So, we said that the, the plant fibers which are obtained, it will be converted into yarn and yarn will be used for preparation of fabric. Now, in this class, let us learn how a cotton, e, cotton fibers is converted into yarn. Okay. So, there is a process which is used to convert the cotton into yarn cotton fibers into yarn is called as spinning. Okay, so let us have a try how we are going to make a yarn from the cotton fiber. Okay, students, take a cotton. Okay, so this cotton I have uh, removed the seeds from the cotton. Yes, just do like this one or two times so that you will blow, you won't have any lumps in between. Okay, once you do this, yes, so Using your forefinger and thumb, you hold the cotton in the left hand. Okay, and the same two fingers. So, the thumb and the forefinger, just hold the cotton at one end. Okay, with your right hand, just spin it, see here. Spin it like this. So, hold it loose. The left hand, you should hold the cotton loosely so that the cotton can come like this. Okay, you can see, right? This is a cotton, right? So these are a cotton fibers. From the cotton fibers, we made yarn, right? So this is a long continuous fiber, right? So you can see here, using the yarn, we can prepare the fabric, right? You understood. So this is what handmade process. Okay, so this, if you see here, it is uneven. I can't use this yarn for preparation of fabric. Why? Because it is not even. So if I prepare a fabric using this, it may create lumps and my fabric won't look that good, right? So, instead of that, we are going to use some of the techniques or we are going to use some of the tools, some uh, devices which will help in converting the cotton fiber into yarn. Okay, so if you see, whatever the process which we done now, so we are going to spin. Okay, we are going to uh, spin the cotton fiber so that, yes, we can see the yarn formation from the cotton wool, right? So, this process, the process of making yarn from the fibers is called as spinning. Okay, now whatever we done now, so this process of conversion of yarn from the cotton fiber or fibers is called as spinning. Okay, so this spinning can be done use, using the tools. Okay, so this spin tools which are helpful in spinning the cotton wool so that we can obtain a yarn in an even formation. So for that we are going to use a devices. These devices are called as hand spindles. Okay, what are hand spindles? These hand spindles are the simple devices which are used for spinning the fibers. Okay, by spinning the fibers we will be getting the yarn. So a common spinning uh, hand spindles which are used, see here, so this is what tuckling. So tuckling
exactly it is one of the simple and very common hand spindle which is widely used which is called as tackley and there is one more type of hand spindle which is commonly used that is cheraka you know well right so cheraka it was being popularized because of the uh, our fo uh, father of nation that is mahatma gandhi ji right so in the indian independence okay while uh, gandhi ji was fighting for freedom not only gandhi ji yes why india is fighting for freedom during that time uh, uh, you might have no yes india used to produce lots of amount of cotton right so what the british people used to do they used to take the cotton from here and they used to uh, prepare yarns and fabrics in their british countries and they used to bring those british cloths and they used to sell here at higher prices okay so gandhi ji was against this act why because yes we are growing the cotton in our motherland and why we need to pay more money to wear this fabrics right so for that gandhi ji fought against the british and he started the khadi movement so here this khadi movement what happens actually in khadi movement here so he is going to use the cheraka okay which is a hand a hand spindle so here see from here the uh, yarn will come out okay so here the cotton will be will be placed so like this it will go and here from here the cotton yarn will be collected okay so khadi movement in khadi movement gandhi ji encouraged the people okay to use the hand spun means they used to prepare their own yarn in their homes using cheraka and they can obtain the yarn and they can prepare their own fabrics and they need to spun they need to prevent the spun which is been obtained from the mills of the british okay so they are completely against this so to encourage this act whatever been taken by the gandhi ji okay so the government of india also promoted the khadi and it is also been given okay village industries village industries means a small small in small uh, villages like uh, like this cherkas from 10 to 20 cherkas will be placed and uh, the people will be given with some work to spun the uh, yarn using the cheraka and using that yes the fabrics used to make okay so like that village industries commission has been uh, come into act in the year 1956 okay so in the year 1956 the khadi and village industries commission has been came to encourage the khadi okay so khadi means a pure cotton okay so this khadi movement was brought by who this was encouraged by the our father of nation mahatma gandhi ji okay so if it is of small scale it is okay but if we wanted to prepare this in a large scale so large scale means if you wanted to just do this for 100 people you can go for small scale industries like village industries okay so but if you wanted to pro, uh, produce a fabric for thousands of people then you can't fulfill the need at this uh, by using this cheraka or tackley so for that now the technology is been upgraded where we are going to use the machines so these machines are used for spinning the yarn and these yarn now it will be used for making the different types of fabrics okay understood so this is about the spinning cotton yarn